Greetings, I'm Carl Sagan. Today's question comes to us from the delightful Miss Stanzer, who, to put it bluntly, wants to know what I'm doing here. Specifically, how I came to be on this program with Howard and PH and all the rest. She wants to know, am I some long-lost relative, or perhaps some psychic manifestation of Howard's own fascination with the cosmos? Like any good scientist, I can't pretend to have the answer for you. As far as there being some genetic connection, I, I don't believe that's true. Uh, of course, Howard and I both spent some time in Brooklyn, so anything is possible. But as to this other point, this idea that perhaps I've been manifested through strange psychic energies, perhaps as some sort of tulpa, that's a fascinating theory. I don't see any particular evidence to suggest that it's accurate. I'm here for reasons beyond my understanding. Somehow, Howard and I have pulled each other into our orbits as two reanimated gentlemen trying to make sense of a cosmos that defies rationality despite all of our best efforts. And yet, here we are, two men from two different generations who were fascinated by the cosmos, by the promise of its weirdness, of its grandeur, its scope. And now we find ourselves in undeath, wandering about the cosmos together. It's certainly not how I imagined the afterlife, but it's far greater than any celestial temple and eternity spent plucking at harp strings. I must say, the best part of being here is being able to spend time with people as curious as yourselves who are trying to also make sense of the cosmos and all of its grandeur. I also enjoy being able to spend time with delightful characters like Howard and B.H. Mr. Kessler, I haven't made up my mind about. That's a joke, of course. He's fine. Thank you for giving me the continued opportunity to appear on this program and delight and educate. It's good to be back. I, of course, have been Carl Sagan. Be well.